Hi there, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard. Uh, welcome back. We're going to talk about uh, guitar strumming, a little bit of advanced guitar strumming. Uh, we left off with using the script that comes with Cakewalk called Strummit to create uh, some very basic strumming. And this is what we did last time. So we can hear this very, very basic strumming. Uh, there's a better way, and what we're going to do is uh, use a free application or a free instrument called the Ample Guitar Lite. I'll just, uh, you can go to the website, download it, install it into Cakewalk, and then let's add a track and we'll see what it looks like. So we go to Instrument, uh, you'll select, it'll come up as Ample Guitar M2 Lite. We'll select it, create the track. And here's what the application looks like. Uh, it's not very intuitive. It took me a while to figure this out. So we're going to just take a, a look through it. So at the beginning we have our keyboard. We're going to come back to the keyboard and take a look at what these uh, controls do. I'm going to go to the strummer. So now that I'm in the strummer, uh, what we'll see is that we have a sequence. This is a sequence of the strumming on it. And they have eight, uh, eight preset patterns. Uh, these are the, they call them sequenced. So this is pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when we click on them, you'll see that the strum pattern changes. We're going to go to one, and if we want to hear what it sounds like, we can just hit the play button. So let me just turn down the volume on this a, a little bit. Uh, it's quite loud. Okay, we'll go back to our strummer here. Now the, the chord that it's playing is over here, so we've selected C major, right? So if I go to D, and we can change, take a listen to the other chord patterns. You can create your own uh, sequences by moving these around. That's a little bit beyond me. Where are these notes on the keyboard? Well, if you hover over here, this says switch to chord one, strum mode note C1, right? So if we go to our keyboard and we, we go to our main, what we'll find out here is our, you, you, when you press on it, you hear the squeaking. That just indicates it's the chord. Now, if we want to play the chord, we have to come up to here, it says, it says play sequence one. So as long as we hold this note down, it plays. The other sequences, they're not in order. You think it goes sequence one, two, three, four, except it comes up here. Sequence three is here. So now we have an idea of where the notes are, where the chords are, and what the sequences are. So in order to get a chord to play, you have to play two notes. You have to play the chord note, and you have to play the sequence note. So let's go to our uh, piano roll, and we'll see how we can get this to work. So this is, uh, that's a C here, and also repeats here. So let's go to the piano roll and we'll see how we can make this work with MIDI. Now on my keyboard, or in uh, this Cakewalk program, the, the sequence starts at C5. So I'm going to draw a note, whole note here, I'll put it on C5. And then I also need a chord, so I'll put the chord down on. I could do either C3 or C4. Now wh when I press the chord it just does that little squeaking noise. 
Okay, what we're hearing now is the previous guitar. I'm just going to turn it off. I'm, I'm muting it. That's the guitar chords we played before. If I want to change the chord, these are the chords down here. This is the sequence. So I can go to F. And now I have a nice sequence going. And of course I should go back to C. Now we can also move these. We'll just... So that's one way of uh, creating chords, right? Very simple. Uh, it takes a little while to get used to. Uh, you can break these up and uh, um, let's see what happens if we shorten this up here. Oops. Okay. So you can kind of play around with it. Let's go back to the Ample Guitar Lite uh, application. Now, in the strummer, as I said before, you can uh, create your own strums here. It's on my capability. I'm just sort of using this, basically. And then this tells you where all the, the notes are. So on our one is, so we can expect our first position is C, third is D, five is E, what we expect, and basically they're saying here's our one, three, five, except, and so this is going to be C, D, E, F, G like we expect. These, the black keys are going to be, uh, so two is A major, so they, they basically organized it in C major scale, so C major scale, when you go to D it's a minor, when you go to E it's a minor, etc. Uh, now, if you want to uh, a major, you'd have to go to the um, C sharp or D flat to get it. Right. So if you go back, I wonder if this shows you that. Yeah, uh, it just says switch to, to this one. So this would give us an A major versus this A minor up here. Oh, there's some other uh, pretty neat things here. Is there, there's uh, effects. So I can go to effects and they have all these pedals here. Um, we can add reverb, delay, phaser. Uh, we'll go back to our strummer. So um, you have all these different effects that you can use. You can add distortion. Um, you can add wah pedal. The wah pedal I thought was pretty, uh, it was kind of difficult to use. Let's see if we can get this strummer going here. Go back to effects. A little bit of overdrive. So you, got, you can uh, fool around with your sounds here and come up with a, a sound that you like. So that's kind of a, a quick introduction into the Ample Guitar Light. Thank you.